<clears throat> okay, I'm going to close out some of my things. Okay, so I am going to, this week we're going to talk about like what should we be posting and what we should be doing, how many times we should post. I'm going to kind of talk about like our social media a little bit so that we can kind of know exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going to do a screen share. I did a couple slides just to give us some examples real quick. And I'm going to close out some of my screens so I, cause I always have too much open. Okay. Can I share? I thought I could share. Yeah. All right, let me see. It doesn't give me the option. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay. So real quick, this is going to be week one. And so real quick, I just wanted to go over it. So like we talk about posting and social media and um, sharing our story so much. And the reason why we talk about that is because we are kind of lucky in a way where we don't have to necessarily have go to somebody's house and pull out a bunch of jewelry and or pull out and, and show them how to do the makeup or something. But we can use our story and talk to people about how these groups or how the um, beach body has changed our lives. And so I said, this is actually our storefront, our social media, no matter what platform you choose, whether or not it's Facebook or Instagram or anything else, it's your storefront. So I have a picture here of me and my son and um, I had to use it as um, one of my posts. And I talk about faith, family, fitness, and food versus a picture of the 21 day fix. And so what I said, what I want to point out here is that we're sharing or branding, we're sharing about you and how it works for you and not necessarily a bunch of stock photos 21 day fix beach body because they do already spend so much money on advertising or doing those you know um the the what's it called the on on tv you see them talk about different things <clears throat> the infomercials but here on social media we're talking about us and sharing our journey so that's kind of why i wanted to show those two um, points right there and so let me go on to the next one. So to getting started, we talked about this and Rachel shared a little bit today about getting started and um, launching your business. And so the reason why I'm doing this is just like any other store, you have like a grand opening and you kind of talk about this is, um, we're opening up our store. We want you to come in and you kind of invite them into what you have going on. And so I wanted to show you, I was definitely nervous and this is kind of like what not to do. I really didn't get much engagement. I gave a little bit of what my my goals were I talked about wanting to share more about things that worked for me and I shared about an accountability group but I didn't put a picture of me on there I did share a little bit I shared I lost some weight I had my first challenge group and then who wanted to join me I put a link in the comments and stuff like that but I really didn't get much engagement you see like 13 people and so it wasn't a ton so I want to show you what I had done differently. So now I took a picture of myself and I went through the same type thing. I still shared my journey. I still shared a little bit about my story and I definitely was able to get more people. So like on this particular photo, um, I didn't get it in the snapshot, but that there was more 85 likes and over 15 comments talking about the change and different things and how I talk about my journey of how I was the all in or nothing girl and I tried all kinds of bad diets and that um, I finally kind of got to the point where I realized it doesn't have to be all or nothing and that you can um, be healthier. So you're definitely going to use your story, whatever it may be to you, to help share and launch your business. So then that's why I just started to say, you know, I decided to become a coach and I joined my first challenge group and then it had changed me in so many ways. So definitely when you're, when you're posting, I want you to keep in mind more about telling your story. You'll hear Rachel and I talk about that a lot. Like, why are you posting is going to be like a question of when you are posting. <clears throat> so, um, so that gives you kind of hint. So like posting, we talk about posting three to five times a day. And so at first that seems like crazy overwhelming, especially like if you were like me and you didn't post that much, I would, you know, randomly post something, you know, that I did this and my boys did this and it wasn't something that I used to actually reach out to a lot of people. I had a couple photos on there. So posting three to five times a day was like 
crazy for me, but there is a reason behind it. Just because, um, and then I'll just put some examples, like morning, lunchtime, afternoon, evenings, late evenings. It depends on what type of person you are. Like I'm an early morning person, so I get up early and I see things in the morning. I am not a late evening girl. If someone posts things late in the evening, I'll never see it because I am not up. Like pretty much after these calls are over, I'm washing my face and I'm getting into the bed. So I don't see anything much past um, nine o'clock because I'm not there. So you're trying to reach and touch the different person um, that maybe be on at their lunch break because they can't get on the computer all day. And so that you're able to um, touch those people and share a little bit about your journey with them. Or in the afternoons when the mama finally has a break because she got to put down her son, you know, from one to three or something like that. So those are the just the different areas that why we talk about posting different times a day and that you can share your journey that with that. Um, so if you kind of make out a plan and so I talk about like what to post. So the best thing to do is to think about the things that describes you and what makes you. So I put my um, put some things down here that describes me just to give you guys an idea. So what describes me is more my faith. Uh, I do a lot with my family. I do talk about fitness because that's something that I've always struggled with with working out and I talk about how I overcome it. Um, even though we are definitely a health and wellness company, that doesn't mean I always love working out. There are still some times that I struggle and so I share that. Um, I'm a sports mom. Definitely football is our jam right now. I try to be a foodie. I think it's kind of fun to kind of make pictures look all pretty um, and make your meals look pretty and so I enjoy doing that um, right now I modify quite a bit because I'm having some back issues and I'm a dog mom so I share those things so those are just kind of the things I use to help create my posts and so you definitely don't want to be um, all beach body all of a sudden so you go through a spurt where you're just using Facebook every once in a while and then all of a sudden we're super excited about being a coach and we're super excited about doing all this stuff and it seems like we're all about health and fitness. We definitely want to keep a balance because you don't want to lose who you are. So you're sharing about who you are, whether or not it's as a coach, as a challenger, um, in your faith, fitness, food, and all of that, but you are still you and so you definitely want to keep that in there. So when, how to post is you're sharing your story bit by bit. It's not like you're going to go do a long novel every time you do a post and so that's why we have it broken down you know sometimes you might be sharing a little bit how um about your family and how you make things work um, around your family schedule or you how you make it work that you get up early how do you get up early me i stick my phone under my bed to make myself like literally get up so i have to go reach for my phone so you um so those are the tips that i kind of give out because otherwise i'll just smack the snooze and lay back down so those are the things that you share that you may not like other people may not hide their phone under their bed to help them wake up but you share those things because because they helped you. <clears throat> um, so I kind of, you try to help map this out and someone else created this and I just really liked it instead of recreating it, I just like to show it. So there's you in the center and then you have your different things. And this person, they talked about faith, family, fitness, fashion, and travel. So those are the different things that they would talk about. So um, things that you wanna do is like 80% should definitely be about you in your life. And then you're going to have those posts where you're saying, hey, I have a challenge group starting and would you like to be involved? And you have kind of more of a call to action to it. So that is going to be more a smaller portion, like 20% of your posts. So really what you wanna do the majority of the time is add value and you're adding value by, you know, if it is faith is about your um, part of who you are, then you're going to share that and so you want to um, how it helps you and your family and how you make it work with your family. Um, if you know if this person is into fashion, they're gonna people are gonna follow them for their fashion tips, for their shoes, or for whatever it is that makes you you. And so then, like some people, I'd love to say I'm a fashionista and I love super cute uh, everything, but I do love it, but I don't shop a lot enough to to do it. So it's just not who I am. So it wouldn't fit in. Um, so the best thing that you're looking for is to engage with your customer or you know your clientele, the people that follow you. You can ask questions. You can ask their advice. About about things but these are just the different aspects of it and this is how it's going to actually kind of look like so when you're building interest in your challenge group every post isn't going to be hey join my challenge group what it's going to look like is over here you'll see it says share your journey so that's where you're just sharing your journey and letting people know maybe the products that you're using the programs that you're using and how you do things <clears throat> 
Um, another way is to shout others out, like today is Tuesday. And so I just posted right before I got on there a Transformation Tuesday. And so there are some that you will have, like we share in our groups, we share each other coaches. Um, you also have others that you can share from the Beachbody website. As a coach, you can have access to share those people's stories and you can share transformations and shout each other out for saying, hey, check out this girl. She's worked hard and been dedicated and look at her amazing results. Um, another form is to post tips and tricks that you've learned. So, you know, whether or not you have um, lost weight or you're trying to gain muscle or trying to eat healthier. And I know like I've had some more people jo um, join us in our challenge group that are more vegan eaters. So you share different things about those recipes because they're a little bit harder to find than all recipes that, you know, are, um, that, ha that include meat. So use the person that you are and help give people tips and, and help, help um, at how you are able to make it. So like again, the recipes is just a great thing. Busy Moms, Crock-Pot, and right now Instapot recipes are like super popular. During the sports times, moms want to have recipes that are quick, easy, one pot, or their, um, you know, um, what's that, slow cooker recipes and stuff. So they definitely, people are always looking for healthy recipes. Think about Pinterest, um, you know, when you go on there, a lot of people are posting exercises or posting recipes. So you're, you're almost, almost making your your, um, your page, like a Pinterest almost. And then the last thing you you will actually, you know, put like a formal invite out there and, and let people kind of know, hey, this is what I'm going to do. And um, this is when our challenge group starts. I'm looking to see, you know, to enter, uh, have people come in and join the challenge group. And I'd like to coach you and be a part of it. Are you interested? You know, contact me. And so you're going to, so a few more things I talked about your fitness. Some ideas would be like to do your workout selfie and then when is your best time to work out? Um, how does a challenge group help you? For your food, you can do recipes, you can do meal plans, talk about kitchen tools that you find helpful, eating out tips and things that are going to help. Um, what do you do to sort of stay on track when you eat out? Um, snack tips. People are always looking for like a healthy snack option for on the go or keep at work. And then if you're going to talk about Shakeology, which you know we encourage you to do we always say include why so why are you going to be posting it other than just you know a picture of Shakeology and um, you know kissing it and saying I love my Shakeology explain why you love it so much it's now an option for you in the morning or it's now um, an easy grab-and-go meal as you head out the door for um, practice so that's definitely what you always want to um, ever you'll hear us over and over talk about the reason why you're posting um, your family and so you definitely want to talk about your hobbies your kids your fur babies, you have animals, you want to act, you know, talk about things that are non beach body related. And like again, I mentioned before, ask for advice and questions. People love to give their opinion. They love to give their opinion. Um, I talked about a hair dryer or a curling iron. Um, if they, you know, um, what's that, uh, What's that stuff they spray in your hair? Dry shampoo, what brand of dry shampoo? Um, you've talked about like Netflix ideas, what shows to watch on Netflix. People love to give their input and ideas and it really helps engagement and it really just helps you connect with people more. And then lastly, we'll, like I said, we'll talk about public invites and that you'll be inviting people to different things. You might be doing a challenge group. There's sometimes you might choose to do a free group or you might decide you want to um, start having a new coach group like we have invited you guys to new coaching. And so you're always going to want to have a, um, a start date. You're going to have a call to action and that's kind of asking, telling people what they need to do next. So if this interests you and grab their attention, what to do next. And so you can say things like click like comment below or you can say fill out my woofu form and that's a form and I'll talk about it in a, in a little bit but that's a form you can use that you can just ask them like a little couple questions and it'll be sent to you but I'll go over that in just a second um, so one thing you want to think about is that when you're thinking about your photos you want to make sure to try try to have very clear photos. And so a lot of times I'll take my photos outside or I'll have some of my food photos I have by a window and I'll snapshot, I'll take a picture of them with your, um, with your camera or your smartphone. You want to make sure that your profile picture is a picture of you so people know that it's you. Because if you have a bunch of girlfriends in there, if you have a bunch of different people in there and people come to see your page, they may not know which one is you when, when you start, um, um, getting out and reaching out and talking to more people. 
people. So you'd like to have a picture of just you in there for your profile picture. And then your Facebook cover could actually be a little bit more and talking more about it. So they could be of the five things. They could be of your family. They could be of something, you know, that, that is more you, but definitely try to keep a picture of you and your profile picture. And we do say to, um, if you're comfortable with it, to put your profile, put your actual social media on public so that people can find you um, just for um, referral ideas. Like I had someone um, that was looking for Shakeology the other day and someone tagged me on it and they said go like this girl she she um, knows a lot about Shakeology she drinks it so they were able to um, send me a friend request and they were able to find me if I kept it private they might not be able to see it so then now we're talking about the benefits of Shakeology to see if it's something that can work for them but those referrals kind of help you there so that if, otherwise if it's private they may never see you um so let's see here Excuse me. Okay, so real quick, just so some ideas, because it kind of seems overwhelming, like I had no idea how to put any pictures on or any words on any pictures or anything like that. And so some different apps that you can use for your phone are Photofy, Word Swag, Canva, PicMonkey, and Snapseed. So those are all different phone apps that you can look up. And then on your computer, you can look up Canva.com and PicMonkey. And so I really use a lot more of Canva than I do PicMonkey because Canva, this actually even this slideshow is with, Pic, uh, with Canva because you can, they give you lots of templates and all you do is just kind of add and drop and you can kind of play around with it. And we have like a little tutorial we can um, throw into the group about how to use Canva and things like that. But it really just takes a kind of few minutes just to kind of pick one of those apps or go into the computer and just kind of play around with adding wording and lettering. Now, one thing people talk about a lot is they're not sure about what exactly to post. And so I gave you some ideas before, but also we talk about reading personal development. And in this group, we talked about reading The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And I think most of you either are getting it or already reading it, which is fabulous. So by reading those different books, it helps motivate you. It helps inspire you. So what I always say is that pull snippets of what you're reading from. You know, before you go to bed at night or when you first wake up, read um, um, you know, five, 10 minutes of that book. And there's going to be something probably that you're going to be inspired by. So we do have um, a list of different personal development books that we have read, either Rachel or I or others in the group that you can just kind of ask if you're struggling with something, we can kind of recommend and that could be very helpful to you. But right now, just when you're starting the compound effect, just talking, talking about consistency and that over time, it'll help build up. And not only, I read this as um, a challenger, not even as a coach, and it really helped me with my fitness and my um, health journey because learning that just making those right choices every day overall will, will add up. So really I'm always working on a personal development book. I always have something, or sometimes I use something called audible where you can listen. So you buy the audible version on Amazon and you're able to, to listen to it while you're driving in the car or while you're folding laundry or where you're making dinner. And so you'll have a chance to, um, um, do that some of that personal development. Okay, so here's some posting ideas that we can talk about, like the recipes, clean eating tips, snack ideas. Shakeology is a quick and easy option. And you're going to start probably thinking about maybe what were your objections to Shakeology, and you can post those publicly about how you overcame that objection. And the same thing with all of your challenge groups and coaching objections. What do you love about Shakeology? What do you love about your challenge group? So I just dropped some things down just for you to start thinking of and making a list. Um, what are some things you personally struggle with? Um, some great tips that people seem to like in Facebook is really seeming to kind of push out there is those live videos and the videos help you connect with other people. Um, and if you are you know, starting to talk about more about coaching as you get further on, you can give some coaching tips of different things that you have learned. Um, I, I use my faith and then I also added like vegan options and talk about those different things. So there's always training in the back office to get more um, ideas about Shakeology. I think Shakeology was probably one of the hardest things for me to learn about. And so if you go in your back office and under business tools, there is um, videos and you can learn a little bit more of Shakeology. So I would definitely say take a second and there's even a podcast and listen that are short five to seven minutes and just kind 
kind of educate yourself a little bit about it and you'll grow to get more confident to be able to um, talk about those things because it's really not natural at first to talk about some of those things and we all felt uncomfortable about it but once you start practicing and talking about it out loud and then just also you know being able to learn it and then it makes more sense to you about it so definitely <clears throat> um, um, try to you know grow your knowledge on that so at one point, like we've talked about, you're getting good about, you know, your lighting in your photos and you're taking them outside. Or even if you see this little light I have here, I add it to my computer that I use the light to um, uh, take my photos if it's really dark. It's just little things like that to kind of help brighten it because you're wanting to catch people's eyes. So um, at, at one point after you've done all these different things and you're sharing so much value and you're giving people recipes and you're sharing tips, and then at that, some point you're going to come to a point where you want to um, publicly, and I'm, I'm going to say this is a public invite or a public ad, and you're going to invite them to our little party. So what you're going to let them know is what you're inviting them to what um, is your start date and what is your call to action to do next? So here's one that I did recently. I took a picture of the, my different stages of mindset. And one of the things that I'll share a lot, if you if you're follow my page, is that um, I struggle with being consistent in my mindset. I just couldn't get my, my hands wrapped around. I thought it had to be like an all or nothing type deal and I had to eliminate food groups and stuff. So I'll talk about, a lot about mindset and stages of mindset. So I share my story a little bit about it. I say how the challenge groups helped me and that I have a March challenge group starting. And at the bottom, I say, if you're interested, here is um, where you can contact me next. So it kind of has all those different things. You definitely, you know, you want to have a picture of you. You want to um, invite them to what, let them know what you're inviting to, whether or not it's a free group or a challenge group and um, let them know how it helps you. Um, let them know the start date and then give them a call to action to let them know what they do next. And I know it sounds really awkward and you're not really sure about putting this publicly out there because we've all thought about it but if you don't ha advertise then you'll never and you don't let people know you're opening your business you don't let people know that you're gonna have these challenge groups you'll never really end up getting um, challengers so you definitely want to put yourself out there and the best way that I had someone say to me was and um, you're inviting them to a party you're talking about all the great things that you've learned over time and you're telling them about, you know, this great thing that you have and how it has changed you. And it's a birthday party, like for your son. And if you're saying all these wonderful things that you're going to have at this birthday party and you're going to have, you know, famous football players and then you're going to be able to go out onto the football field and play and do all these fun things. And so you're getting people's attention. But then if you never send out the invites, no one's actually going to come. So the best way I've always said it is to invite them to your party. So use your personal picture, tell them your story, explain why, explain what you're offering, when is your start date, and then give them a contact, uh, give them a call to action and let them know what to do next. I mean, it can be simple as, you know, put your email below. It could be simple as message me or, you know, click like if you want me to message you or, you know, you can do a bunch of different things. And sometimes I change it up. I don't always do the same thing. So it's not the same consistency over and over, but it's, you want to be able to change it up. And so I mentioned this Wufu before and it's just www.wufu.com and it really is just like a simple questionnaire form it's free and you can we can put a links to what ours looks like are probably the basically the same it just kind of has like some person's name email their phone number what type of are they uh, experience do they have in health and fitness? Are they interested in a group and, and you know, what type of exercise? It's just kind of like a basic form. It's kind of nice because it's a little bit professional. So you look like, you know, you're, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I just like the way it looks. It's kind of more professional. And so that you get um, an alert through your email, you can set it. It's one of the settings on there that you can get an alert from your email and then you can get three of them free. And that's just what I use. I have three of them and that's what I use to help, um, to, to do that. But there are also times that I'll just go ahead and do my, um, you know, like or comment or, or let me know. So those are just some of the things that we can do for the ads. 
Um, it definitely takes practice. You don't always just know exactly what you want to do and what you want to say. So don't get frustrated that if you're not sure what to say, but that's why I was trying to give you that guidelines of kind of talk about your story, your why, a start date, and kind of put those components all together. Um, some people even go to like, I have so many spots available and, and some people do even more of that. Um, I don't always do that because um, I feel like I try to help, you know, as many people as I can. I've never had a group so big that I couldn't hold it, but you know, maybe one day I would have a group that way and I would have to. Um, but you definitely sometimes want to put your start date so they know that you have a deadline. And um, um, when you're inviting, that's like the major part of it that you're having your invite for you're putting it out there. But a lot of what we need to do also is when you're inviting is in personally invite people. So that's an additional to our social media ads. So I know a lot of people are afraid maybe to reach out to people and invite them one-on-one, -on -one, but really we have so much to offer and we have such value in it. You just wanna see if maybe what you have to offer, if these groups, how much they've helped you could help somebody else. So like, you know, you're, you're kinda hiding it and kinda keeping it all for yourself and, and offering. I know. How how much it's changed me and how much my outlook on life is that if I wasn't you know I I technically reached out to my coach, but I know I followed her for a while. I spied on her, but not everyone is going to, I never liked her stuff. I never commented on any of her things, but I finally did just reach a point when my, like I said, my mindset changed and I reached out to her, but not everyone's going to do that. Some people are going to need that little invitation to a party just because you're saying you're having a big birthday party for your son, you know, doesn't mean other people are going to show up. Some people need that actual invitation. And so I just want to encourage you to, invite them to the party. We, Rachel and I kind of joke around and say that it's kind of invite them to the party because it's changed us so much. So, um, how do you go about? So like a lot of times, if you're going to be posting these things and you're posting your recipes, you're posting your transformation, you're sharing why these things are helping you, the people that have liked your posts, the people that have commented, you know, you just want to shoot them a quick message and just say, Hey, thanks so much for um, liking one of my posts recently about my recipe. I just wanted to thank you for that. You know, do you have any interest in, you know, if you were able to give them a link to the recipe or you can share, you know, if you have an interest and in you do want the recipe, you can share the recipe with them and you can kind of spark up a conversation with it. Um, have you tried this before? I mean, you know, if there's something like, you know, um, garbanzo beans or your chickpeas or hummus and have you ever made anything else? You can kind of keep a conversation kind of talking about that and you're keeping it going. So you will, uh, um, sometimes if someone just liked a transformation, I'll just say, hey, thanks so much for supporting my journey. You know, it's something that I do to try to inspire others, but I appreciate your support. Um, and just kind of, that kind of opens up the door of a conversation. Sometimes people will say, hey, you know, you really inspire me, or, you know, I enjoy watching, some people say, they, like, I do silly videos in the morning, and so people will be like, you know, you have a, you know, I like your positive outlook in the morning, and I like to watch your funny videos, and it just kind of starts the conversation of, you know, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. People ask me about, you know, my back and things like that. So it just kind of opens up the conversation when people like your post. So definitely reach out to anyone that is liking your post or commenting um, because they are the people that is, you know, supporting you. And even if they just like the post and they have no interest in your group, then liking your post post is definitely supporting you and your business. So you definitely want to reach out to them and tell them thank you. And just like, you know, thanks for loving on my page. I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated and keeps me going. So um, those are the people that I start would start off with. And then you're going to, you know, think about the different people that you know, and there's that memory jogger in the back office. And I think both of us have sent out our little getting started right to help you find those things. But in the news and training session section in the back office, there's a memory jogger. And let's just kind of talk about about like different people you would think about, like your hairdresser and the person that does your nails and um, people at church and stuff, or, you know, it'll talk about different people to kind of help jog your memory about friends and um, different things that maybe you wouldn't have thought about your photographer that you use for your kids and stuff. So different things like that. So that will just kind of help jog your memory. Go to your Facebook list, kind of scroll down. You know, sometimes you go to your people that you know already um, are into health and fitness, or they're already, you know, um, have you spoken to them before? There's some ladies that I walk with um, at football with. And so we walk around the track. So we're always walking around and stuff like that and talking. So we talk about the different things, recipes and things like that. So that's a great um, idea. 
start conversations with people even that you haven't, um, that are not liking their things, you know, kind of catch up with them. You're friends with them on Facebook anyhow. So you're friends with them for a reason. Catch up. Hey, how are you? I haven't seen you since high school or college or how are you? And talk about their kids and what they have been up to. Be genuine and be um, interested and in really about them because you want to ask them um, how they are doing. And then kind of in return, they generally do the same thing about you. And that could lead to a door of, well, hey, I'm doing wonderful. I started doing, you know, these health and wellness groups and I feel great and this and that. And so you can kind of keep the conversation rolling like that. Um, you can definitely talk about like um, people's pictures, where they, if you live locally, who, what photographer did they use? Did they get a new car? Um, just always um, on Facebook, they always let you know when it's somebody's birthday. I always go in and, and wish people happy birthday and send them a private message. Ask them if they have any plans, if they have anything going on. Um, just kind of checking in with them and letting them know that you care. Um, uh, that's just really being genuine about building those relationships. So, and after you've done that and you've started that conversation and you feel comfortable, you feel like you've let it, you can just kind of let them know like, Hey, I have these groups. Um, they're for any health and fitness level. Do you think it might be something that would interest you? And that is your invite. It doesn't have to be something that is like, Hey, I have these health and wellness groups and every day we do 21 day fix we check in and we drink Shakeology and we do this and we do this. And then you, you don't have to give all that information for your invite. It's, um, it's too overwhelming. It's too much for them. And so when you're, when you're first inviting, it can be very simple. And then when they say, sure, tell me more, that's when you can go more into asking them questions about, um, you know, what is their um, fitness level and what type of exercise do they like to do? And you're kind of asking them what hasn't worked for them. And so that you're trying to figure out what program would be best for you. Obviously, if someone hates doing cardio, you're not going to have them, you know, do, um, you know, country heat, or you're not going to have them do insanity max 30 because if cardio is not their thing and they don't like that, they only like weight training, you're going to want to uh, look for for the programs that are just going to be more weight training. So definitely after you have invited, you want to ask questions and see what is going to work best for them. Um, and you always want to follow up because things happen. You know, I know that um, when I look at my phone, I'll see a message go off. You may look at it for a second. The boys call me to go do something or my husband called me or I was in line in the grocery store and then it's my turn to check out and I put my phone down. So just because someone didn't respond to you right away, maybe they were conversing back and forth to you that they're not answering right now, that does not mean that they're not interested. It just means that right now they... um right now that, you know, something happened and they got sidetracked. So just kind of follow up and be like, Hey, I just wanted to see that you got my last message. We were talking a little bit about, you know, things that worked for you and things didn't. I just wanted to check on you. Um, so don't be afraid to, to follow up and check on those people at all. Like I talk about, like I now use my Facebook Messenger a lot different than what I used to. I used to just open it up and then close it. Now I use it intentionally. Like I know I'm about to go sit down, answer all the different messages, and I don't just randomly open up a message because I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. But before I was a coach, I never once even thought about that. I Someone sent me a message. I looked at it. I got sidetracked. I put it down. And and I, maybe I remember, maybe I didn't remember. And there's been plenty of times I have messaged somebody like, hey, did you have a chance to look at that video? And they'd be like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I was going to do it tonight. So I'll do it tonight and I'll message you back. So don't be afraid about those follow-ups. And one thing I just want to encourage you about is as you're talking to different people, track it, write it down, talk about, um, you know, write, have some way to do it. There isn't no right or wrong way of doing it other than you want to actually write it down. Don't use Facebook Messenger as you're tracking. You want to actually write down and we do have the business activity tra tracker I think Rachel has posted different activity trackers we have tons in the team page that you could just kind of play with and you find the one that works for you but basically you want to write down you know the, the people that you've added to your contacts the different people that you have added to um, your friend requested and that you start conversations with you want to um, keep up with the people that are conversing back and forth about challenge groups the people that have said hey um, maybe not this month but maybe next month and so you want to write those down you want to write down the people that are like well I don't really 
I'm not sure if it's something or interests me. Maybe when you have a free group or if you invite them to a free group. So keep those names separate. You definitely want to keep a track of the different people because there will be a time where maybe something that you have to offer works for them. So whether or not it's a piece of paper and a book or a binder or a journal or the business, all the different trackers, and we'll, we'll post some of those in the group and kind of let y'all see some of them and see what works for you. You definitely want to track it because I'm going to tell you what, that you don't, you are going to forget. There's times I'll go back to wish somebody happy birthday. And even now you go back to wish somebody happy birthday and you're thinking, oh man, I started a conversation with them and we, we let it die off. And so you definitely just want to track it. So um, with that, I think that's about it. We uh, encourage all y'all to get the compound effect. And so I know some of you posted that you purchased it or you've already read it. Um, it's not a bad book to read again. I would encourage you to read it again, even if you have read it. I've read it several times and listened to it on Audible because at different times in your stages of life, you will pull and hear different things that will um that speak to you. So definitely encourage you to do that. Maybe just 10 minutes a day when you wake up or wait before you go to bed, just take those 10 minutes and kind of do that. That really helps on learning and knowing what to post. Um, and the consistency just, you know, builds on itself, just like our health and wellness. And we know that each of those choices we make every day to do the things we need to do to be healthier builds and helps us be successful. The same thing that for us doing um, the different vital behaviors we talk about, like adding people to your contact list and being proof for the product that you're doing your workouts and that you're doing, taking care of your nutrition and then inviting and posting on social media. So that is what we have for call one. Rachel, do you have anything to add? I don't think so. I think you were pretty comprehensive. Um, I did just post in our Coach Basics page, somebody shared this in one of our other elite trainings, uh, was how to interview somebody who is interested in your challenge group, and it's really good. Like, it's a really good resource. I've never seen one, and I've never put one together that that good. So it's all in one spot. You know, a lot. That's the biggest thing that um, – I get, and what I struggled with as a new coach was, what do I say to these people? Like, you know, they're like, I want to join your challenge group. How much does it cost? And you don't want to just spout out, you know, how much it is because people won't ever come back. Um, but if they understand the value and understand your interest in helping them and investing in them, then they trust you and they obviously see what they're getting for the challenge pack price. Um, so that's a really good resource. I would definitely read it, but um, just, you know, ask us questions. That's what we're here for. Um, and I'll say in the beginning, it was hard for me to put myself out there, but you just have to think of every conversation that you have, like even the ones that maybe don't go the way you want them to um, just view them as practice like you're getting better at this you're you're learning how to to talk to people and and share what you're doing and it's going to be weird and awkward at first so don't let that stop you okay um but yeah i, I don't really have anything else to add awesome amber do you have any questions i think you're the one on still on right now no i'm ready for bed <laughs> <laughs> i know it's late for you it's what almost 10 o'clock